At the foot of such mountains of stone, everything becomes minute. here on Christmas Day, which turned out to be a great idea because the temperature is really pretty good and there's not many tourists. It's narrow. This is hard. How am I supposed to go down like a little chicken? It's nice to be able to stand, right? This is the size. We're inside the pyramid. Getting out of here. It's hot. I want a video of this. If you're claustrophobic, I recommend not to do this. In the year 1196, the Sultan of Egypt had his ego bruised when he looked at the pyramids because he realized he wasn't the most important ruler in Egyptian history. So he ordered his men to try to destroy the pyramids. But fortunately, the only damage they were able to cause was this gash here. It's the only one where you can see at the top how it originally would have looked all the way down uh, 4,000 years ago. The pyramids would have looked white from a distance and the top was covered in a mixture of gold and silver to reflect the sun. The this is nice to be able to see what it actually would have looked like. The smooth finish section and then this didn't get smoothed yet. Some speculate that a ramp was built which would have wrapped around the pyramids. You can see a bit of a ramp behind me here. But others think that they built a canal and actually floated the blocks here and then lifted them in place with somewhat of a crane. Um, Elena came here. Um, there's... Oh, there's a ramp. Oh, there's a ramp. Okay. Kind of nice and cool down here. A little hint of pee pee. Khufu's pyramid, the largest one here, uses over 2.3 million blocks. And uh, we know that it wasn't built by slaves because they were given rations of meat as well as three rations of beer per day. And meat was very valuable. Uh, so it's actually assumed that it was a prestigious job to work on these pyramids. It's in surprisingly good condition on the bottom. It's neat how the tail wraps around. There's a common misconception that Napoleon's army shot the nose off the Sphinx, but actually there are drawings of the Sphinx from the early 1700s showing that the nose was already missing. So nobody really knows what happened. 